Hi everyone, Nikki Weiss here with Sarasota Home Specialist. So the big question that we get right now is interest rates. Where are they headed? How does it affect your buying power? And how does it affect if you're about to sell and purchase? So here's the thing is interest rates still are manageable. It all depends on your financial analysis. So how much down payment do you have? Are you gonna be doing a PMI? The difference, average difference between doing a uh, $400,000 home at the regular interest rates that we've been seeing on average, not COVID rates, 2.5, 2.75, those were COVID rates. Those were fluctuated to increase the economy to go. The ones that we were averaging for a while and for a few years was about 4%. So at about 4%, 4.5%, fluctuating to 6%, it's really a $350 a month difference. Um, so that is manageable, dependent on how much your down payment is. We can talk about buying down points with your uh, lender. Our local lender, Candace Copeland with Bank of England, is a fabulous resource for this. We'd be happy to connect you with her. And we'd also love to sit down with you and look at how much equity do you have? Because how much are you actually rolling into your new home purchase in order to buy down that rate or buy down how much you have as a loan? That really affects it ultimately. And while we are seeing a lot of prices level out and stabilize out, they are not going down. So those who have purchased correctly before 2020, even last year, those who had purchased last year still have major equity in their home. So if you found that you rushed to buy last year or even the beginning of this year uh, because you were sick of the multiple offers and things like that, or if you purchased, 10 years ago, eight years ago, six years ago with us, we would be happy to sit down with you and see how we can get you into your dream home. So a couple tips to have prepared beforehand. Know what your mortgage is now. Know uh, what your down payment is that you affordably can put towards a home. Understand if you're gonna have PMI or not, because if you're a first time home buyer, um, or if your home that you first bought was first time home buyer program and now you're going into another home, there are conventional loans that are actually very beneficial between three, five, 10% down. Now again, you will have PMI though on those, so be careful with that. And that's where your lender that is trusted and you know will help you. Be very careful for those scams that are out there right now saying, we have lower interest rates, we have 4% interest rates. We've already seen it happen in the last week where when it comes to closing, that buyer gets hit with a huge closing cost fee from the lender because they're buying down the rate and they're passing it along to the consumer. And while they do disclose it, you just didn't read that portion of it because it's in tiny, tiny print. So we would be happy to compare apples to apples for you and make sure you are making the right financial decision because we are your real estate advisor, not just your realtor to open doors. We are here for your financial goals. So give us a call if you have any questions and we're happy to help in all of your buying, selling, and investing needs.